Oh, hi, Chickadee. Hi. Are you like doing hamstring stretches? Yeah. Do you like doing groin stretches? Yeah. Do you like doing lunge stretches? Yeah. How about some exercise with Daddy? Yeah. What did Daddy do? Um, no crying. Daddy did crying, did he? I did crying. Oh, Tricky did crying. Daddy didn't do crying. G'day, it's Eddie the Osteo, and I'm walking you through my three favorite hip stretches that I think people overlook. Um, and this is the setup here. So you'll see me setting up. I have pillows and a yoga mat. The pillows are really important if you really want to stretch. You're going to be there for a while if you want to do it properly. So get yourself some pillows and knuckle down, settle in for a little bit of time. You're going to work through these stretches. These videos are in double time, so you'll see me moving faster through the stretches but you can see I'm holding those stretches for a while now this is the hamstring stretch what's really important about this stretch is that as you lean forward you try and make sure that most of that lean is at the angle of your hip you don't slump into the stretch I'm switching over there onto the other side I like this position because you can use a pillow to lift your bum just a touch and kinking the other leg out to the side allows you to focus more on one of the legs you don't have to touch your toes but you have to draw yourself forward keeping your chest relatively upright so you can force that stretch more effectively into your hamstrings breathe and relax you can see me sinking in lower there that's the other thing about these stretches the most important thing that you're going to do it's an exercise in discomfort really what you're trying to train your brain to do is relax into the discomfort and allow your body to stretch more it's more about your nervous system than your muscles Here's the adductor stretch. I think this is the most underdone stretch in exercising. Adductors or groin, you might call that. I like this stretch because you've got a lot of control over it. You can see me back there in a kind of a side kick position. I use pillows there and you can see me sliding the pillow a bit and rolling forward. The, green, the groin is a very three-dimensional muscle structure. Some of it's almost hip flexor and some of it's almost hamstring. Like so as you roll back and forward like that you're rolling over through the, the hip muscles and really targeting different parts of the groin Nice and slow Rolling back there into almost a hamstring stretch and I'll switch over and do the other side So like I was saying before you want to take your time with stretches You really want to kind of let your body relax into it And you might take 30 seconds for each of these stretches and if you're really going to have a good flexibility session You might do that twice for each side Flexibility is great if you're doing a lot of sessions per week in high intensity, you're doing CrossFit, you're doing the Open, you're doing uh, F45 Challenge. One of the sessions should really be about flexibility. That's my opinion. Now you'll see me go into a hip flexor stretch or a lunge stretch. So I really love this stretch. Again, it's a very three-dimensional stretch. At the moment, what I'm doing is tucking my pelvis backwards, a posterior tilt, and it drives the stretch more into the shorter hip flexors, the ones that are up near the pelvis. That reach there, that's basically a yoga pose or the setup for one of the warrior poses. Reaching up like that really drags that up into your flank. Now, as you're gonna do a deep groin stretch like I'm doing here, it's really good if you can have something around that you can bear weight on. You can see me using the bar there and some of the weight plates to just drop my weight a little bit. And it allows you to relax into the stretch a bit more. It's not so awful. You can control it a lot more. So you can modify your body weight using that. And you see me switch side. Again, you can see the utility of the pillow. Having that soft uh, pressure underneath the knee really allows you to spend a bit more time there. Get your brain right, get your brain relaxing, slow your breathing down and let the stretch take its effect. So it might take some time. Check your lefts and rights for all these stretches. Pay attention. You'll find differences. My left side's always tighter in the hamstring. I tend to work that twice to the right side one. I think that's a fairly good rule. Work on your tight side more and uh, you should get some good effects. Hope it's been good. Thanks for watching. You're going to photobomb my session? Come see. Who is it? Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Do you want to do the camera? Kiss. Oh, beautiful. <laughs>